All right, welcome back to this Pistons My League. It has been over a month since I've uploaded the Pistons My League, but we are back because I really don't feel like recording any other type of video. These are easy to record and they're easy to edit. So we are back. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. We got NBA content almost every single day when I feel like uploading because that's apparently, you know, I upload two videos in a row and stop for a day. That's apparently what we're doing now. But I do upload Apex Legends every single Wednesday. You guys, you know, you guys have been showing some Apex Legends support. Not as much as, you know, some videos are done, but, you know, it is what it is. Some videos do better than others. What are you going to do? I mean, it's whatever YouTube recommends. By the way, if you're new here, you know, be sure to subscribe because about 90% of you aren't subscribed watching this right now. What are you doing? Anyways, getting back into it, we are back at this Pistons My League. Scotty Lewis, Christian Wood, Josh Richardson, and Cade Cunningham are our best overalls. Been over a month. I don't remember anything about this team. James Wiseman, Luke Kennard, Nolan Noel. He's getting paid seven mil. Isaiah Thomas again paid eight mil. Uh, he's averaging eight and a half points for us. We have Dion averaging nothing. I don't think he's played. Uh, no, he has not played a game for us. Um, this is the lineup apparently. Uh, it is what it is. I mean, I'm gonna leave it as is since we are apparently two and zero. Oh. In those two games, Cade Cunningham, who was the fourth pick, second pick. Second, we had a second pick. I thought we had a fourth pick. We might have traded for him. I don't remember. 22 and a half points, six and a half rebounds, five assists. Jay Rich averaging 21. Wiseman averaging 19. Luke Kennard 19. Scotty Lewis 16. The team's actually doing pretty damn good to start off, so might as well keep simming. Uh, let's. Do we have a Christmas game? We somehow have a Christmas game, so we'll simp to this Christmas game. And I'll talk about the channel as we start off 4-0. Um, so yeah, I have been uploading a lot more. Well, not really a lot more. Oh my god, Cade! What's with injuries? Okay, so that means... Hey, yo, Isaiah, we're averaging 12 points in 16 minutes, Isaiah. God, that's really good. Um, Dion, looks like you're getting your minutes. Uh, we don't have a backup set center off the bench. I guess it's going to stay that way. Isaiah, you're going to get 30, and Dion's going to get your minutes, as we don't have a backup center off the bench. Yikes. But yeah, uploading Apex every single Wednesday. You guys have shown support for some videos. Some videos more than others, but no matter what, I do want to keep posting it because I do enjoy making those videos, recording with my friends. I enjoy um, editing them and all that. Just a lot more fun, and it's a good break from 2k as oh my god dude injuries are on 15 injuries are literally on 15 why is everyone getting hurt why is everyone getting hurt hey um scotty lewis um who wants to start who should get the start i guess isaac all right i guess nerlens and wells gonna get minutes now wow everyone's getting hurt dude <laughs> we're not even at christmas yet but yeah i am gonna continue uploading apex no matter you know if it if it gets like zero views still gonna upload it because i enjoy it but i do suggest you check out those videos because they're they're very funny a lot of fun we are going on somewhat of a cold streak okay kate cunningham's back so we do get our point guard back i say he's not shooting great at all but how do you do as a starter 16 points six assists terrible shooting but it is what it is but you are going back to the bench for kate cunningham so we get our star point guard back. And I guess Nerlens Noel is going to be losing his minutes. Actually, no. Seeing. How's Dion doing? Nine points. All right. I guess we'll keep you playing instead of. Whatchamacallum. I guess we'll give you both 17. Kate Cunningham was averaging 25 and 5. Averaging 50 and 40. Wow. Okay. And then we lose by one. Then we lose again. Oh my god, dude. We started off like 9 and 3. Now it's not looking very good. Um, I don't care. I don't know why that's on, dude. That's always, like, why is that on? Wow, what happened? Why are we starting to lose? Yeah, go ahead. Make the trade. I don't care. Wow. We just went on a what? One, two, three, four, five game losing streak. And that kicked us out of the playoffs. We were, we were nine and three. And we went four, four. We went four and 13. In our past 17 games. What happened? I'm, this is going to be a playoff team. I will make sure this team makes the playoffs. Oh, yeah. Richardson is hurt. Of course. James Wiseman is averaging 21 and 11. He's having an amazing season. Kate Cunningham as a rookie is averaging 19, 4, and 5. 
Um, Jay Rich was averaging 16 for us, having a near career year. Um, Luke Kennard's averaging 13. He, yeah, he, he might get traded. He had a decent year last year, 17 points. He's averaging 13 points. He's averaging seven assists on only 40, not even 40% shooting technically. Isaiah's probably gonna get traded. Christian Wood, you gotta do better. 11 points. Come on. We do have a lot of double-digit scorers, but. I think it's time to move on from Luke Kennard. I think it is. We're going to throw in Luke Kennard and I guess Isaiah Thomas and see what we can get. Honestly, I am fine with not getting a shooting guard because I can move Richardson to the shooting guard position and start Scotty Lewis. But we'll see what we can find. Okay, that worked immediately. I actually didn't expect it. We just traded Isaiah Thomas straight up for Mike Conley. A better point guard, especially defensively, which is what we needed on this team. He's only getting paid 5 mil for the next two seasons. Yep, 6 mil about. Um, he's averaging 11 points, 5 assists a steal. He's not shooting great, but I'm hoping him coming off the bench will be a better fit than Isaiah Thomas, you know, defensively. Now, I'm going to throw Christian Wood in the trade finder. We didn't even trade Luke Kennard. <laughs> we didn't even trade him. Christian Wood is just not playing well. 11 and 9. He's not playing bad. He is averaging two blocks, honestly. But it's just, we have Sekou on the team. So, Christian Wood and Sekou, I don't see them both playing together. So, it's either one or the other. So, we'll look for some Christian Wood trades for now. I really have, like, all the positions are really set. So, I don't know what trades I'm even looking for, to be honest with you. <laughs> Paul George. Dude, that's tempting. This is meant to be a realistic, but that's tempting. He is regressing. He does have an insane contract now. Ooh, that's tempting. Oh my god, that contract's huge. I don't think I'm going to do it, though. I don't think I'm going to do it. It would be nice to bring him in, you know, for that veteran leadership, but I'm not gonna. Now, we have a point guard, Luke Kennard. I'm not sure what's going to happen with him. Yeah, we really need more bench. We need a we have a backup point guard now. Um Scotty Lewis is probably gonna slide into the starting lineup. Um A backup big, maybe? We haven't known Snow Well. I don't know. Maybe maybe we just stockpile picks. Honestly. Let's just try and get picks for them. I think I'm gonna keep Christian Wood for now. I'm gonna keep him and see how he does, but damn, they hear 19 and 10? Who's this dude? Bear oh, he's not doing the work. Tim Hardaway Jr., Jimmy Butler. I'm a Heat fan. Damn, Gallo's averaging 21. Who's this dude? Why is he starting at center? Bam's hurt then. They have Kuzma? Since when? Alright, this team's solid. Bam's hurt. He was averaging 20 and 12. Bam's hurt. Damn, okay, Miami. I see you. Um, Toronto. They don't have... They still have Pascal, who's averaging 28. Kyle Lowry's hurt. That's why. Okay, so Kyle Lowry's hurt. They do have a son who's also hurt. So they just have a bunch of players that are hurt. Maybe we try and grab the Knicks pick. Who, wow, the Knicks have De'Aaron Fox and Anthony Edwards. Maybe we try and pick up the Knicks pick. Who need like... I'm going to trade Luke Kennard. I want at least a pick back. He's a solid young player. So, a young team that could use a shooting guard. The Raptors. The Pacers. Oh, no. Don't they have Oladipo? Is Old Depot? No, Old Depot's not even on the team anymore. So, Luke Kennard could be a good fit for the Pacers. You might try and get their first round pick. No, uh, I guess Trey Young's hurt. Right now, the Pacers are looking like the fit. Wow, they're 7 and 20. Chris Paul's gotta get the hell out of there. Old Depot's on the Kings. That, yeah, yeah, Lonzo's on the Kings. What has happened in this NBA? What is going on? Um, I think the Pacers seem like the best fit. The Pacers seem like the best fit, so I'm going to try and organize a trade to send Luke Kennard to the Pacers. Uh, I'm trying Luke Kennard into... For some reason, they freaking value TJ Warren three... Four... Um, yeah, almost four stars. They value Jeremy Land three stars. Value Jerry and Grant, Jeremy Grant and two and a half stars. Like, why are you valuing these players so much? I don't think I'm going to be able to get this trade done because of how much they value those players. Like, those players aren't that valuable. I don't know why they're doing unprotected. Yeah, like, Cade Cunningham, are you stupid? No. Hell to the no. 
What I could do though is try and orchin orchestrate. Orchestrate is that the word? I don't know. Orchestrate. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. A trade. Sabonis is not very good in 2K. Miles Turner is also not very good. So maybe I shouldn't. Or there's not really a trade. Ah, uh, he's unsettled there. But I do want Sekou to start. And Sabonis doesn't help us defensively. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to send him to the... Um, I don't think we're sending Luke Kennard to the Pacers. It's just not working. It just wouldn't work out. So I don't know what team could use him. Alright, I am going to try a thing here. I am going to try and trade Luke Kennard, our first round pick this year, and Scotty Lewis, who will be moved to a small forward or whatever, for Bradley Beal. They don't want to do it. I'm going to throw more picks. We are trying to make a splash here. I'll throw in one more first round pick. That's a one star value. Why is that pick one star? This, no, okay, you don't want him. Uh, oh man, this actually might be more difficult to do than I thought. No, they value Scotty Lewis more. Wow, this actually might be more difficult than I thought. I figured they want to do this trade. Nope, they're not. Oh my goodness. I figured, because they only they don't even value freaking Bradley Beal that much. He's only a four star. Yeah, we just don't have any picks to offer them. Damn, I actually thought that trade was going to go through. There's no reason it shouldn't have. Okay, now listen. The Thunder want to trade Chris Paul for just straight up Nerlens Noel. He's making 44 mil this year, but that contract dips down to 27 mil. Um, the Thunder is 7 and 20, so it's not unrealistic for them to trade Chris Paul. So we're going to send Nerlens Noel, who has not even really played for us this season, to OKC for Chris Paul. And what I'm going to do is play Cade Cunningham at the shooting card, shooting card, shooting guard position, and I'm going to trade Luke Kennard. We got to get rid of him. We got to get rid of him. Probably for a backup center now, since we just traded. Um, what you call him? I already forgot his name. Jared Allen doesn't make sense. We knows well. That's who we traded. Um, let's see. Let's see. There's gotta be a backup center. Mitchell Robinson's way too unrealistic. I don't know why they always trade him for a bag of chips, but it is what it is. Tristan Thompson. He doesn't have the defense I like. I'm liking this Rashawn Holmes trade to be honest with you. He's on one year deal. Uh, no player option, so he'll be off the books after this. I'm going all in for this season. Oh, it's OKC again. How about that? That doesn't make sense, though, because they have two young shooting guards. I'm trying to make this somewhat realistic, my G. I'm trying to make this somewhat realistic. Why did I go to here? Oh, yeah, I'm trying. Why can't I just find a trade for effing Luke Kennard? All right, I'm going to try and trade Luke Kennard for Derek Favors in their top three protected first round pick. They still don't want to give it up. I'm willing to give you another. Oh, my God, dude. Just do the trade, please. Oh my goodness, dude. Why are the Pacers so picky? Like, oh my god, you got $13,000? Are you kidding me? Bruh. I swear to God, Indiana. I swear to Christ. Then everyone else is such high-valued play. I might have to do I, I don't think I'm going to be able to get a first-round pick for him. I'll Next year's first-round pick. You want our first-round pick and Dean Wade? Whatever, dude. Is that even the right first? It has to be. I'm not about to get finessed. Yeah, whatever. Next year's first round pick. I got rid of Luke Kennard. He's gone. So we're gonna be playing Chris Paul. They don't. They want Scott. They want Cade Cunningham playing a small forward. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna put him at the shooting guard position. I guess we'll play Scotty Lewis there for now. Uh, Christian Wood. Do I want him coming off the bench? No, I don't. Cause Seku's not even playing that good. Um, Derek Favors, you're not getting that many minutes. I do want Seku to still be a six man. Uh, F. Um, now the backup center, Isaac Okoro, I want you getting a lot of minutes. I want you getting at least 21. Um, that seems alright for now. Remember, we still got Jay Rich that's going to be coming back. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Christian Wood, you'll be getting 30 minutes. 21 17. Yeah, that seems about right. Then when Jay Rich comes back, someone's going to lose minutes because Guy Lewis is coming back to the bench. So I don't know. For now, we're good. Um, we're going to keep simming, I guess, till Jay Rich comes back. For Christ's sakes. 
All right, well, Scotty Lewis, you're going back to the bench. Because <laughs> now they decided that Jay Rich is healthy. Um, how many minutes was the ERA getting? He was getting 31. God damn it, bro. Now it's going to be challenging. Chris Paul, you're going to get 32 minutes. Do that. I don't even feel good about making Seiku the sixth man. Because of how bad he's been playing. Um, Derek Favors, you're going to get 12. 14. Oh, man. Oh, man, dude. These minutes, bruh. I just might have to make it a 10-man rotation. I'm not playing Cade Cunningham at that at the small forward. It's not happening. We're not playing him that many minutes. We're not going to kill the dude. He doesn't need to play that many minutes. James Wiseman, I know you've been our leading scorer, but you don't need to play. Derek Favors also isn't playing that many minutes. Scotty Lewis would be our sixth man at 25. You're going to be starting, so don't you worry about that. I have Seku, uh, Mike Conley, Isaac Okoro. I want you getting a lot more minutes. Um, I think 18 is good enough. We're going to have Chris Paul playing 30. We're going to have you playing 30. Trey Bridge. Oh, my God, dude. The minutes. The minutes. I guess you're playing. Oh, my God. No, because Seku's not even playing good. He doesn't deserve to get that many minutes. Have you playing 30, 30, 32, I guess, and 32. All right. So we got Chris Paul, Cade Cunningham, Jay Rich, Christian Wood, and James Wiseman. Off the bench, we got Scotty Lewis, Isaac Okoro, Seku Dumbia, Mike Conley, and Derek Favors. They're getting little to no minutes. So I'm going to sim to the trade deadline. I'll sim to the tra trade deadline, then we won't, you know, we'll end the video. We win. Okay, we're on a three game winning streak ever since making those trades. Four game winning streak. Okay, it ends. Why is everyone getting hurt, dude? Um, decline. I don't want any trades. I don't understand. Now we're doing better. Those trades so far have made us a lot better. I'm going full in with this team. I'm I'm going in with this team. This team's gonna be a playoff team. I no, disable. I don't care. I don't not gonna accept any trades. We beat the heat by a lot. Um return player to the G League. I don't care about Dean Wade. We're 23 and 20 right now. Um, make any trade you want. I don't care. We're a playoff team. We're definitely, definitely a playoff team. I don't care. Make whatever trade you want. Bobo will get traded like 69 times in 2K simulations. We're, we're good. We're a really, really good team. Let's just check out what's going on. In the all So we got Team LeBron and Giannis, obviously. Uh, do we have any All-Stars? It doesn't look like it. I wasn't expecting any All-Stars, to be brutally honest with you. So... Anyone out of the use of Nurk? Dennis Schroeder. He was averaging like 26 points last time I checked. That's a, that's a new one. Dennis Schroeder being an all-star. I've never seen that. Um, now we're still going to trade. S trade? We're going to still sim to the trade deadline. You're still playing. I don't care. And can will we have 30 wins? We do have 30 wins going to the trade deadline. We are currently the fourth seed. Half a game behind the Heat for three. I told you. We were 13 and 16 going before we made all those trades we have gone 17 and i want to say 7 17 and 7 since making those trades half a game now behind the third seed and two games behind two let's see what's going on james wiseman still balling out 20 points 10 rebounds four assists for a big man kate cunningham's his points went down but what do you expect he's averaging 16 and a half four and six jay rich is actually still producing very well. He's averaging 15 points still. Um, 51, almost 50, 40, 90. Chris Paul, his stats did go down, but not by a lot. He was averaging 17 when we traded for him. He's averaging 15, five rebounds for a six foot point guard, eight assists, a steal, 45% from the field, 40% from three. You know, I think he's happy. Uh, yeah, he's been happy. He's more happy than here than he was in OKC. Um, Scotty Lewis off the bench, I believe, is averaging 12 and four, and almost a block. Christian Wood's injured, but he's averaging 11 and 9. He is averaging a steal and two blocks, which is why I'm keeping him on the team. Because he has been playing insane defense. I mean, his stats are going to go down. What do you expect? And with all these scorers on this team. I say Coral is averaging 11 off the bench. I like how these players are still doing what they were doing with less minutes. They're getting less minutes than they had. Mike Conley was averaging 11. Now he's only averaging 9 and 4. Still shooting ass. But, I mean, Derek Favors is averaging 9. Now he's averaging 8 and 7. They're doing... They're playing good. Dion has been playing. Seku is playing terrible, though. Four points. It might be his tendencies. 
Yeah, he has a 42 shot tendency. So he honestly might get traded at the deadline. Seku might get traded at the deadline. So let's see. We were middle of the pack for offense and defense before we made all those trades. Offense wise, we moved up one spot to 12. And defense, I already saw. We were averaging 111 points we were giving up a game before that trade. We are now the best defensive team in the league. Thanks to those trades we made to bring in Mike Conley, one of the better defensive point guards in the league. Derek Favors, who's one of the better perimeter defender centers in the league, and he's good in the paint. And we bring in Mr. Chris Ball, who's probably the best defending point, one of the best defending point guards in the league. I forgot Ben Simmons and Ashante Murray are, you know, a thing. Which make us, differential-wise, the third best team in the league. Differential-wise. Listen, I wasn't expecting to make the playoffs this season. But the trades we made may push us to the edge. Ward races, we have no one for most valuable rookie of the year. We have Cade Cunningham second. Jalen Green's averaging 24. Six man, no one. Um, defensive player, we don't have anyone. And most improved, James Wiseman. I was about to say, we better have James Wiseman. He went from 18 and 8 to 20 and 10. That's improvement. That's 100%. His shooting went down, but what do you expect? Do we have any all-star participants? It's only Okay, we can't even check that. But nonetheless, that's going to be for me. Leave like you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. I was going to check something. If I ever, oh, I want to check how the Thunder were doing after making that trade. And they're doing complete ass. So are the Pacers. We traded Kennard there. He's coming off the bench for them. And he's still playing bad. This, why are you starting Jeremy? Whatever, you do what you want to do. Um, this team, they are not starting. Oh, did he get hurt? Did we trade Scott? No, we didn't even trade Scott. Who did we trade? Oh, we traded Nerlens Noel. Why did I think we traded Scott? Oh, they have Rudy Gobert. Didn't know that. It was still ass with them, I guess. Now they get Shea at the point guard position. So I think that worked out better for them. That's going to be for me. Leave like you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. GG.